So friends, welcome. Uh, wishing you a belated, very happy new year. I had some personal uh, problems so that I was, could not upload uh, videos in for uh, some time. And I'm in the process of making my website banktechskills.com wherein I'm trying to add as many topics as possible besides Finical so you can join in. So some of you are commenting that it's not uh, available on the web, uh, Google. So I have yet to launch it. So kindly wait for at least uh, 10 to 15 days. Hopefully by 26 Jan or month and we shall be able to do it. So I'm in the process of making content for that, right? Finical content is ready. So thanks for all of you for your support, for your subscribing my YouTube channels. Please ask your friends, those who are already working in the bank or those who are planning to join the bank to do subscribe to my channel, YouTube channel and join my website also, wherein they can have a lot of uh, material for their personal growth. And this is my sincere and honest endeavor to help each one of all of you to grow and uh, have a successful life in future. So today we shall discuss how to print a TD receipt. What is the command for that? If that is lost, how to print a duplicate demand receipt or fixed deposit and how to extend a term deposit also, right? So extension is done before maturity, right? Renewal is done after the date of maturity or on date of the maturity. So extension is done before the date of maturity. This is done by the customers so as to take the advantage of any rise in the rate of interest generally, right? So let's go with the slides and you'll have a lot of live videos on my website. But these are the PPTs I'm trying to share some commands so you can make notes of it. So when you see videos on my YouTube channel, uh, videos on my website, I think you'll be able to connect better. So this is my uh, very humble effort to help my young uh, millennial bankers who are already working or would, who have the aim because it's a growing industry. Banking is a growing industry. So you can raise your career here also, right? So before printing the deposit receipt, the user has to make the sure that the FDR inventory is available in the branch location, right? So whosoever is printing the fixed deposit, he got to have that inventory, right? In his location, otherwise system won't allow it. And that has to match with whatever has been entered in the system, right? User to invoke menu option HDRP by entering the same in menu shortcut field and clicking on go here, right? So from account ID, you can print the many FDRs also. Suppose in a branch, let's say in a day, 10 FDRs were made. So all those 10 can be printed at a time also by entering from account number to account number, right? Or you can choose one account number also, right? Or you can choose QF IDs also alternatively. So whatever FDR is connected with that KIF or some people call it SIF, it will be automatically printed here. Then click on go. This is the screenshot that you'll get it. You can see here right hand side. You'll type the command HDRP to demand receipt printing, right? So this is a branch code CCY INR will automatically appear here. Here you can write from account ID to account ID, right? Or you can write KIF ID also. You can see here KIF ID also here, right? And click on go here. Move on to next slide. Print entry. Select the record by clicking on the checkbox. Left hand side, you must have seen the checkbox was there, right? So as soon as we'll, I'll take you to the next uh, slide, it'll be there. Box will be there on the left hand side. Whatever FDRs you want to print, you click on that and print. Accept, click on accept button system displays next detail screen. So this is here. So you can see here, this is the uh, button, right? Uh, squarish uh, rectangle, right? Where you have to tick, right? Here, left hand side, right? As I was saying here, uh, select the record by clicking on the checkbox. So this is the checkbox here, right? So this, uh, or you can select as many as you like and top FDRs will be printed in queue and uh, confirm the number mentioned in the print serial number. Automatically system will show what is the next print serial number of the fixed deposit, right? Account number is different. Print serial number on the inventory of the fixed deposit is different. So be sure of that account number is different and print a serial number matches with the number mentioned on the physical FDR, right? 
use it to make sure that both numbers match each other and then submit right to so click on submit here you get this field here right if id is here print serial number you can see here this right this will be the number printed on the fixed deposit receipt this has to match with the fixed deposit that is being printed make sure that it tallies here otherwise it will be a uh, mix up of fixed deposits right so account number and print a serial number of the fixed deposits are two different things remember this and left hand side button as the column number six here button number six click on submit you get the screen here right this is printed this gives you a preview this gives you a date of opening maturity date maturity value who is the person who has made this fdr what is his address right click on print button and print receipt and confirm right so here left hand side at point seven you can see print here click on this tab here you get this deposit receipts print right right okay the deposit receipts are printed successfully for printing of duplicate term deposit if customer says i have lost the deposit receipt we can give him a duplicate also command for that is h d u r p right so d u for duplicate r p for receipt print right earlier we had h d r p here d u u is also coming so d u is for duplicate h d u d r p printing of duplicate term deposit receipt this is the menu command before printing the deposit receipt, the user has to make sure that FDR inventory is available in the branch location. User to invoke menu option HDURP by entering the same in the menu shortcut field and clicking on go. System displays the deposit receipt print to duplicate criteria screen, right? So KIF ID you can write or you can write from account ID to so and so account ID. You can choose many accounts also or you can choose one account for printing. So all FDRs in a day can be printed at the end of the day also or uh, the, whatever time the employee feels or the officer feels is right to print those FDRs, right? Click on go here. The same field appears here, right? You can see here if ID we have entered here and click on go here. Nothing you have to don't have to enter anything else here, right? Print entry, select the record by clicking on the checkbox and we are done as HDRP. Note that original deposit receipt number will be seen in the original certificate alpha serial number. Now, as soon as this command is run, system automatically takes that original deposit receipt number will be seen in the certificate alpha and serial number, right? Click on accept button. This point is very, very important. Please remember this, right? Confirm the system generates number with the number mentioned in the physical FDR, right? So whatever the number is mentioned on the inventory of its deposit has to be same. User to make sure that both numbers match with each other. Note original receipt number is mentioned in printing remarks field. And click on submit and this screen appears same as we saw in HDRP. So this should tally with whatever is seen here and the physical fixed deposit that is being printed here. This should match. Remember this, right? So nothing has to be seen here this will be automatically populated what we had entered while making a fixed deposit receipt in the system and submit here right button number six submit here the again same as it was shown earlier also it will give you the date of deposit maturity date principal amount maturity amount right if it is quarterly or monthly interest it will show you interest quarterly what will be paid and click on print button this is printed Next is for extension modification in process of modification and verification of existing term deposits account. Suppose someone wants to add a name or wants to nominate or he wants to change the nominee, right? So for savings current, it is HACM only. But in case of term deposit, it is HACM term deposit, TD here. For any addition of nomination, any change of nomination, any cancellation of nomination, addition right this has to be done here so process of modification verification in existing term deposit similar to process of saving banks account so that has been explained in your casa module so same is here also only term deposit td is there in the suffix with the command here while verifying the modifying records authorizer will compulsory have to visit general interest tab general tab tax and schemes and general closure tabs nominations Related party tabs, additional info tabs has to be visited. 
even if no modification has been done here and another important command for entering 15g 15h i hope you are aware what is 15g and 15h is so these are given by the senior citizens and other than senior citizens right so 15g by senior citizens when they are not in the taxable income so that if they earn interest more than 50000 in fixed deposit no tds will be deducted right so it is an undertaking given and it should be obtained and should be given by the customer in the first quarter of the each financial year and command to enter that is mtdse remember this note it down mtdse for updating 15g and 15h it gives a receipt also it generates a receipt also the customer should have the receipt yes i inform the bank that no tds should be deducted now tds rules have been changed in the last budget onward if the senior citizens is getting more than 50000 in a fixed deposit in any bank tds has to be deducted at 10% if pan number is there otherwise 20% if pan number is not there right and 15 h is for other than senior citizens so this is a very important point that all of you should remember here now this is for extending term deposits generally extension is done when bank increases rate of interest suppose i made an fdr last month at the rate of interest let's say eight percent and today bank changes to nine percent for the same period now i don't want to lose on that one percent so tomorrow i can come to the branch and i can say you extend the fixed deposit for further for two years or three years whatever the period may be from the, tomorrow onwards the rate of interest will be nine percent so i'll be gaining on nine percent also without losing anything right otherwise renewal is done after the maturity this is done before the maturity of fixed deposit the user to invoke menu option hddxt ext for extension by entering the same in menu shortcut field and clicking on go system displays term deposit extension criteria screen here you can see here right so this is the uh, original amount that he has deposited 25000 so we can change the date from here value date will automatically populate here whatever maturity date he wants for how many months and a period does he want it right so this will be automatically maturity date will be updated here right so you can see here this is the value date here 14 here this is the old system right for three years it has become to 17 so this is how we can renew under scheme tab details remember this scheme tab details as soon as you do hacmtd scheme tab details will open wherein you can change the amount also of the fixed deposit as well as period of the extension of the fixed deposit right so a repayment account id should be entered here whenever it is due it will be credited in his savings or operative savings account right or he can break deposit also into multiples right so various options are available here wherein he can uh, customer can give any mandate to us right so you can see your account opening date automatically when this fixed deposit was opened value date we have changed here right so this is for period here now deposit period we can change it here right well, how many months uh, this is for months this is for days and automatically maturity date changes here right so this is how we can modify and if we go on to general tab details scheme tab details you can see here there will be a, here nominations so here it is no you change it to y and go to nomination tab here where is it here it is add the nominees detail enter skfid if he is the customer if he is not enter all his details given by the account holder and we submit after doing this but verifier has to visit all the tabs general tabs interest tags tabs scheme tab de uh, de deposit details flow details related party details nomination if it has changed related party details and additional info it has to be visited right so verifier has to visit all these tabs and we're using the same menu command but function as v at acmtd we chose the function as m uh, modification modify right to, uh, function here when, when we are extending select e a term account id right click on go system displays terms deposit extension details here right 
So I entered here E entered right you can see here as soon as I entered here E and click on go here I get this enter months in left hand side days in the right hand side you can change the number of uh, uh, the tenor of the fixed deposit so you can see here new scheme code will automatically populate what under which scheme this deposit was made earlier and you can see here new deposit period you can change it to five years right or six years seven years eight years up to ten years this can be changed right don't have to do anything here right click on submit it will be extended automatically so this is how we extend the so this earlier i had shown this was for change of nomination tabs here this one H A C M T D. when you make it to no to yes here in the scheme tab then you go to nomination tab so this was for H H H H A C M T D for changing or cancelling or adding any nomination in a fixed deposit this is for extension H T D E X T right the function is E extend enter the account ID automatically you change the period here you can change it to 60 or you can change it to six years seven years whatever you want right and whatever exceptions are coming accepted after reading it click on accept and your fixed deposit is extended successfully and this has to be verified right so i think we discussed how to print a receipt hdrp duplicate hdudrp then any modification H A C M T D for in nominations, then H T D E X T for extending fixed deposit before maturity date. So I hope uh, something of useful was conveyed to you through this video. I'm really uh, humbled and uh, what should I say, gratitude to all of you for subscribing to my channel. Trust me, this is my personal real endeavor to help all the young millennial bankers so that uh, they can have the best of knowledge best of technology and best of uh, whatever uh, services or help can be provided under a website so my website shall be launched hopefully by the end of the next month uh, this month banktechskills.com wherein lot of material i'm in the process of making a lot of videos and uploading a lot of material on it so that you have a 360 degree support from my side so that you don't feel any difficulty in your life career life and career and you're able to grow and rise and shine right so any i would love to have your comments any changes you want but you'll have to for further uh, uh, upgradation you will have to join my website right so any suggestions please put in the youtube and ask your friends and colleagues i think they will love it they'll gain something of a substantial amount from these videos so it was a lovely uh, interacting with all of you after such a long time all the success and best wishes see you be connected thank you